Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's behavior after leaving the royal family has led to constant requests for the king to revoke their titles. In the midst of mounting pressure, King Charles III remains steadfast in his decision to preserve the titles bestowed upon on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, dismissing any notion of stripping them away to avoid the humiliation of his son. Royal expert Rebecca English sheds light on the monarch's stance, revealing that Charles is absolute in maintaining the titles originally granted by Queen Elizabeth II in a gesture of respect. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, have been the subject of intense scrutiny following their departure from the official royal duties, marked by repeated critiques of their royal family. Calls for intervention have escalated, urging King Charles III to reconsider consider the titles in light of the couple's persistent allegations, particularly in the wake of Omid Scobie's latest book, Endgame. Despite the mounting pressure, expert sources close to the royal family assert that Charles is unlikely to resort to such a drastic measure. Rebecca English speaking on the matter emphasized the king's reluctance, stating he will never strip them of their titles, never, never, never. The titles were originally handed over to Harry by Queen Elizabeth II on the occasion of his wedding, and Charles, out of respect for his son, is dis disinclined to take such a punitive action. However, the debate surrounding the titles has not been limited to the royal corridors. Members of Parliament, Bob Seeley has taken a proactive stance by proposing an amendment to expedite the process of stripping Harry and Meghan from their titles. Seeley aims to introduce the bill that could potentially bypass the usual parliamentary procedures, a move met with both determination and skepticism. Rebecca English acknowledged Seeley's efforts, stating a backbench MP intends to bring a bill before Parliament for consideration to strip the Sussexes of their titles. However, she also noted the historical challenges such bills face, cautioning that success is often elusive. Under the existing legal framework, King Charles III can only revoke the titles through an act of parliament. Prince Harry, in addition to the Duke of Sussex title, was also bestowed with the titles Earl of Dumbarton and Baron of Kikil, with Meghan adopting the feminine forms of these honors. As the royal saga unfolds, the preservation of titles remains a contentious issue, emblematic of the delicate balance between tradition and familial ties. So, what do you think about this news, guys? Will King Charles III's decision, will King Charles' decision to retain Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's title, titles impact public perception of the royal family, and how might this decision shape the monarchy's future image? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that, so until next time, hasta la vista.